गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स स्टार्ट सम एप्लीकेशन ऑफ ट्रिग्नोमेट्री स्टूडेंट्स इन द प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द इम्पॉर्टेंट की पॉइंट्स एंड क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू द सेम नाउ स्टूडेंट्स आई एम शेयरिंग यू अगेन द पॉइंट्स टू रिमेंबर ओनली टू जस्ट रिकॉल वंस मोर एंड हेयर वी हैव द पॉइंट्स टू रिमेंबर एंड स्टूडेंट्स इफ वी डिस्कस अबाउट द रिलेशन बिटवीन perpendicular and hypotenuse then we must use sin x function similarly if we discuss about base and hypotenuse relation then we will use cos x in the questions and here next one is the relation between perpendicular and base is tan x so students keep this in mind all the points so we use these concepts in the questions Let's start question number thirteen. This is really very important question and already come in CBSE board exams many times. So students, be careful. As observed from the top of a seventy-five meter lighthouse, here is AD that is the seventy-five meter lighthouse, and you are observed. Suppose you are observed from the top of seventy-five meter lighthouse. from the sea level angles of depressions of two ships are 30 degree and 45 degree that means you are watching from the top of the lighthouse in the downward direction so students if one ship is exactly behind the other on the same side of the lighthouse you can see here on the same side of the lighthouse if one ship is exactly behind the other find the distance between the two ships we need to calculate the distance between these two ships so students hopefully aapko question samajh mein aa gaya hoga from the diagram so let's start the solution given that height of the lighthouse is 75 meter and ad is 75 meter here and angle of depressions are 45 degree and students you know that if two lines are parallel and there is a transversal transversal means this line cuts both the lines and students in this way alternate interior angle must be same so students you can observe here that pa is parallel to the line bd and here ab is the transversal and it makes angle 30 degree angle of depression so angle abd must be 30 degree similarly here pa is parallel to the bd line and here ac is the transversal and makes 45 degree angle so students in this way angle acd must be 45 degree and you know that if we are watching for at an angle of 45 degree then perpendicular is equal to the base and here we have perpendicular 75 meter then cd must be 75 meter so students this is really very easy first of all you have to note it down all the given things that is mentioned in this statement now students here you can see that uh, we are discussing about the alternate interior angles you can write down directly without writing in the long way you can write down directly pa is parallel to the bd and ab is the transversal so these two angles are equal now students here we start with the statement here in triangle acd we take this right angle triangle and relation between perpendicular and base is tan so we will write down tan 45 is equals to ad over cd and tan 45 is 1 and so in this way we get cd is equals to 75 meter similarly we will calculate the next triangle abd in this way we have tan 30 is equals to ad over bd and value of tan 30 is 1 over root 3 is equals to 75 over bd so students in this way we get bd 75 under root 3 but students we need to find the value of bc and we have already find cd 75 and complete bd as 75 root 3 so students if we subtract cd from complete bd in this way we get bc you can see here the solution 
BC is equals to 75 under root 3 minus 75. So students in this way distance between these two ships is equals to 75 under root 3 minus 1 meter. So students here we have next question. Next question is question number 14. A 1.2 meter tall girl sports a balloon moving with the wind in a horizontal line at a height of 88.2 meter from the ground. Here you can see in the diagram here is standing a 1.2 meter tall girl sports a balloon moving with the wind in a horizontal line and at a height of 88.2 meter. So the angle of elevation of the balloon from the eyes of the girl at an instant is 60 degree. You can see that from the eye of the girl the angle of elevation is 60 degree and after some time as the balloon moves in the horizontal line then angle of elevation reduces to the 30 degree. So we need to find the distance traveled by the balloon during this interval. So students you can see that ED is equals to BC. So if we calculate the value of BC in this way we get ED. ED that is the distance between the balloon by the balloon during the interval distance traveled by the balloon during the interval. So students let's start the solution. Here AJ is 1.2 meter. AJ is parallel to BF so both lines must be equal. Students may aapko bahut hi simple way mein iska working rule batati hu. We take two triangles. First we take A E B triangle. Next we take A D C triangle. In this way total height is 88.2 meter. But student you can see that at the eye from the eye of the girl the angle of elevation is 60 and 30 degree so here height of the girl is 1.2 meter we subtract 1.2 this in this way we get cd as 87 meter okay students so first we calculate this one here you can see that ef is 88.2 meter but we need to find the length of CD and EB. In this way that is the 87 meter and here is the 60 degree angle and 30 degree angle that is given already given in the statement angle of elevation. Now students you can see here BE is equals to EF minus BF. 88.2 meter 1.2 meter then we get BE is equals to 87 meter. Now students we need to calculate in triangle EBA tan A is equals to C from the diagram triangle EBA. Here tan A is equals to BE over AB and here value of BE is 87 meter and AB is equals to 87 over root 3 meter. Students you need to just cross multiply here put the value of tan 60 root 3 we get AB is equals to 87 over root 3 meter similarly in triangle DAC we will take tan A is equals to CT over AC and tan 30 is 1 over root 3 and we get AC is equals to 87 root 3 meter so students in this way you can see that AC is equals to AB plus BC you can see from the diagram AC is equals to AB plus BC. But we need to calculate the value of BC. So put the value of AC 87 root 3 and value of AB 87 over root 3. Now take this one to the left hand side. We get by taking LCM root 3 into root 3 we get 3 minus 1 2. And here you can see that. BC is equals to 87 into 2 root over root 3 and students हम जैसे कि जानते हैं कि denominator में हमें कभी भी root नहीं रखना होता तो हम root को remove करने के लिए rationalize करेंगे so multiply and divide by root 3 in this way root 3 into root 3 we get 3 now by cancelling this with 87 we get BC is equals to 58 root 3 hence the distance travelled by the balloon is 58 root 3 meter so students in this way today we have completed 
the two questions that are really very most important questions so do more practice and stay at home keep safe and thank you for watching the complete video